Uh, to wait two minutes for the start and uh, something in the order of 5.40 seconds, five minutes and 40 seconds. I think this will be one of those races which could easily be uh, testing the world best time. And that's five minutes, 41 seconds set by Germany in Seville in 2002. So let's meet the crews, the finalists on the far side in lane one, Slovenia. Slovenia, Rock Kolanda, Thomas Piri, Mirja Piri and Mati Prelog. This is uh, the Netherlands are in two, Great Britain, Andrew Triggs Hodge in the stroke seat, Alex Partridge, Peter Reid and Steve Williams in the bow. The defending world champions for France, Dorian Mortalet in the stroke seat. They go from lane four. Germany are uh, to their left. Here they are in lane five. A very, very good crew, stroked by Filip Adamski in the seat on your right of the screen. And completing the lineup, Brett Newlin, Joshua Inman, Mike Blomquist, and Matthew Schnobrich for the United States, uh, who are in lane six closest to you. So the world champions, Great Britain, unbeaten this season. World champions, it's, of course, the man in the bow there, Steve Williams, amongst the world's top oh, ten, yeah. one survivor from the Olympic yeah, gold medal crew of Athens 2004. Hi, Germany. Germany. Thanks very much, Nick. United States of America. Attention. So away we go in the first quarter, and that was a pretty even break by all six crews. Very close together. Great Britain uh, over on the far side now. If this is a race that they plan, they will begin to move about now to the front and will move straight out to a half-length lead. That's the thing. They've got this huge muscle cross-section, great strength of this crew, explosive strength, and they can get out into a lead. Now, if that doesn't happen for them, they will find that they have to fall back on plan B, and that could be all sorts of things, with Holland on their right being the crew most likely to get a sniff at chasing them home. So Great Britain, three from the top of your picture, three from the bottom of your picture, that's uh, France. And the Dutch, to be respected, the uh, Dutch crew, all the silver medalists from last year in the boat. And they are half a length down already on uh, Andy Hodge in the stroke seat. That's his cap on back to front on the leading boat there. And it's the Slovenians who are going with them. Slovenia, always fast starters, generally showing well at 500 meters, not usually able to hold on to the full 2,000. But uh, the other crew to watch in this is the United States. Now, there's an interesting tale to tell here. The United States just qualified, having dead heated with New Zealand in the semi-final for third place. They were made to re-row the race, and they did beat New Zealand. Now, this is of significance in this final, because the United States have been together for 10 days out of their training camp. They've had very few races, and actually the re-row gave them an extra race over and above their competition, which means that they are actually an improved crew by that uh, dead by the result of that dead heat and then getting into the final through the extra race and uh, that's given them a solidity and a confidence and a racing experience that they would not otherwise have and it could be a cause for not uh, not legal complaint or um, or anything else it's just a little bit of a wonder whether that was the right decision to take here the british going down the boat there in the stroke seat there andrew uh, tricks hodge Originally uh, from uh, Skipton, 26 years of age. Sitting behind him, uh, Alex uh, Partridge. Originally born, well, actually born in San Francisco. Uh, 24 years of age, the man who missed out on the Olympics. And then Peter Reed, this extraordinary physical specimen, Peter Reed, of which you know a lot, uh, Hugh. And then Steve Williams, who just brings so much experience to the whole boat. Indeed, but we want to be looking at this United States crew at the bottom of the picture as well because they're actually moving very nicely. They're in good second position. They're a canvas down. This crew includes Mike uh, Blomquist, who was uh, uh, actually rode in the boat race with Triggs Hodge uh, a couple of years ago for Oxford. 
and uh, he's a gold medalist in the eight and uh, this is regarded by the United States uh, team management as their best boat actually better than their eight this is a very very strong four and they have ambitions here and they think that Great Britain is there to be uh, to be beaten and just as we said it was impossible that the Ever Swindell sisters would lose and then they did it's just the belief that maybe Great Britain are there to be taken this year by that United States crew. Now half a length down, but I think Hodge has made a move actually, which has uh, knocked that little uh, effort by the United States on the head already, because they were a canvas down, and now suddenly they're being moved on every stroke, and Great Britain stretching out to three quarters of a length lead, with no, they're beginning to puff now. You can see them beginning to breathe. Hodge licking his lips for another little push. And it's the Dutch who are now beginning to uh, become... Uh, Williams has called it. Did you see him call it there in the bow seat? Williams has called something. Whether it's a defensive on the Dutch or an aggressive on the Americans, I don't know, but they're off again. Yeah, here they go. The uh, Americans on the near side. It's a uh, Mike Tatey crew for America versus a Jürgen Grobler crew for Great Britain with the Dutch there. And Great Britain up at 40 strokes a minute now, Andrew Hodge. And uh, they're taking no chances. They're into the last... Uh, 500 meters of the course now they've got clear water 42 strokes a minute and it is america and uh, the netherlands vying for silver and bronze at the moment germany at the moment adamski hasn't found anything to put them into the race and the crowd are on their feet this is great britain they've already had one glory moment with zach purchase but this is the crew that took the world title in some style in gifu last year but this is sweeter if they can do it on home water now the dutch have got the overlap the Dutch with uh, Kees Vermeulen in the stroke seat, Molenga, Gabriels and Kierkel, and uh, 42 strokes a minute being maintained here as they drive down towards the last 250 metres. The orange vest on the far side of the Dutch. On the right of your picture there it is Great Britain, and still out of picture, but close enough for a medal. Are the United States being closed on now by Germany? Germany beginning to challenge the United States for the bronze medal. But it's Great Britain at the moment, and the stands are beginning to roar now. The Dutch are doing good work, but they can't quite get there. They're still Great Britain with the advantage. Germany have moved into the bronze medal position. They've overtaken the Americans, and they are flying at the British now. And Germany closing on the British. Four strokes to go to the line. You can see the Germans on the foreground. The angle is deceptive. Look for the line. Great Britain are world champions. Stay world champions. Germany, Adamski brings Germany into silver. And the Dutch are demoted to bronze. Andrew Triggs, Hodge, Alex Partridge, Peter Reid and still Steve Williams are once again rowing world champions of the men's fours and very relieved they thought that that could be a challenging race they dominated it through the middle but as they always do and only allowed the others to get back on touch in the last 250 meters two seconds outside the world record time but a very 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 satisfying race for them and there's hodge takes his hat off at last partridge laid out flat on his back read the nine meter the nine liter long man and uh, steve williams out of picture but champion again, world champion in uh, three years leading up to uh, Athens and world champion for the two years since. So he's got now a hatful of gold medals in this event. And uh, in this crew has never been... Wow, fantastic, fantastic racing this morning and for the host nation. And if you'll excuse you and myself for a moment being Brits to see a British crew win on home water, that is special for us. So congratulations from us to them. And I hope you've enjoyed what has been a thoroughly fantastic day of finals.